In this video, we're going to uh, show how we can use the uh, new conceptual mass environment in Revit Architecture 2010 to create elliptical walls inside uh, Revit Architecture. So when we start up Revit Architecture, we begin with this, um, the recent files list. Uh, we would select new conceptual mass here. Just take the default mass template here. Once this comes up, we've got two vertical planes, and the intersection of these two vertical planes is the insertion point for our conceptual mass. So let's go to the Create tab and select an ellipse off of the Draw section of the Create tab. I'm going to create an ellipse here at the, at the intersection of the two vertical planes, uh, just some general size of some sort. Once I have that ellipse created, I can select the uh, the ellipse and go here and say create form and what that does is that creates a uh, basically a 3d solid uh, ellipse once we have that created then I can go ahead and start a new project that I'm going to push my mass into once I've got that project created I'll go ahead and flip back over to the conceptual mass environment and select load into project when that comes over here we'll get a message saying that show mass has been enabled we can just close that uh, message we're going to say place on work plane and we're going to place this on a uh, level one work plane once that is in there we can switch over to a 3d view and we'll see that we've got our mass here now I'm going to go over to the Home tab and say Wall by Face. And let's select a uh, exterior brick on scene here. And I'm going to select the two sides of the mass to place the wall. Now as you can see, as, as I zoom in here, you can see that we've got an elliptical wall with uh, all the elements of the CMU wall with a brick veneer uh, in the shape of a, an ellipse. 